hey what is up gamers and i'm back with another quick tutorial and in this one i'm gonna show you how to fix the stutterings on the battlefield 5 well then let's get to it so before we jump into the fix let me tell you what exact problem i'm facing the problem is that when you are playing the game and after a few minutes into the game, you'll notice some stuttering happening every 2 or 3 seconds which makes the game almost unplayable. And also lowering the settings doesn't seem to help. So let's see how to minimize and eliminate this problem. So the first thing that you have to do is change a setting in game. It's not like lowering the settings. What you have to actually do is that if you use DirectX tool then change it to DirectX 11. And that's gonna eliminate most of the starters and makes the game more smoother. Also if you don't have an HDR monitor, turn off high dynamic range. That's also gonna help improve a bit of frames. Even after doing that and if you still have these starters then that means it's a problem with the memory leak which I also happen to have. I think it's a problem with users with below 16 GB of RAM. I only have 8 and I am facing this problem. But anyways you can also fix this one and it's a simple solution. All you have to do is search for this application called ISLC which is short for the intelligent standby list cleaner. Then download it and extract it anywhere you like. And just simply run the application and press start. You don't need to change any settings in the application. Just leave it as it is. There is no need to change any settings unless you know what you are doing. After pressing start, just minimize this application and run the game and you'll notice the game to be much smoother than before. I can guarantee that this will remove 100% of all status because you know it will vary between the specs. So if you have a even lower end PC then you might face some settings here and there. But overall the frame rates will be much more stable. Anyways that's it for the fix. It's a pretty quick and simple solution and I hope this one works for you. And if it did work for you then let me know by leaving a like. If it didn't then leave a comment on what exact issue you are facing and also what are the fixes that you have tried. I myself or other users may be able to help you. Well yes that's about it for this video. I hope you guys found this one helpful. As always I'll see you guys on my next video. Until then happy gaming and peace out.